Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of FAQ slash IMA. Cannot believe that it's been a month already, but yeah, time flies, doesn't it? And uh, today we got a special guest, it's your boy Donut. Say hello to the camera, Donut. Let's go. Do you like spicy food? As in, how oof spicy? And the answer is yes, I actually have hot sauce on my desk uh, at all times because I use it uh, a lot. Next question, Nintendo, Xbox or PlayStation? I like that Nintendo is doing their thing and they're not trying to be uh, PC too, you know. Uh, PlayStation and Xbox I trained, are trying to compete with PC gaming and I, I'm, I'm not a fan of that, uh, I can understand, but not really, um, especially in 2017. I like that Nintendo is like, they have their thing, they're doing their thing, and uh, they're pretty damn good at it. Are you now or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Nope, uh, I, I, I like partying, but not that kind. Is Otto Felicio, Felicio uh, gay? Is sucking your own dick gay? And the answer is definitely yes. Uh, insanity Wolf of our overly attached girlfriend. Now that's uh, that takes me back. And uh, it's kind of a difficult one because uh, both are pretty good, but I think the wolf is, yeah, wolf is, is better. Wolf is better. Bit too edgy for me. But the other one is too normy, reddit tire, so I'll pick the wolf. What happens when you explode? Uh, boom. Are you into vaporwave aesthetic? Am I into vaporwave aesthetic? Well, honestly, um, I, I, I don't know what is vaporwave aesthetic. Is, 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 does it have something to do with vaping? I don't know. How do, what is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, the answer, I, I don't know. I, I'm not into vaping. So, next, are you an actual fish? And the answer is yes, of course. How can you dot it? Maybe it's better with lights on. Um, next, how much. Red fight! Red fight! How much yes powder can you consume in 24 hours? Uh, yes. Have you ever driven a car? No. Never had the occasion, never had the need. I don't even have a license actually, so... What was the last time you were seriously, genuinely afraid or scared? Stage fright or exam anxiety or any type of anxiety doesn't count. Well, anyway, I don't have stage fright. I, I, I've done a few concerts in my life and I never had stage fright. I don't have anxiety at all. But, as, and it's kind of a funny story because the last time I was seriously, genuinely, like, scared, uh, it was a two or three years ago. Two or three years ago, something like that, yeah. Uh, and I had, uh, I had gotten some horrible diarrhea. Like I, I don't know how, but I had like explosive diarrhea, like the worst diarrhea in the world, and it lasted for weeks. Uh, no, I must have eaten something awful, or I don't know a virus, or a, I had no idea how it started. But I, I couldn't get outside of the house because uh, I had to I had to go to the toilet like ten times a day. It was awful. 
But whatever, the fact that the diarrhea lasted so long uh, actually gave me anemia. And the fact that I had anemia gave me hallucinations. And uh, which, and a thing that is actually an actual uh, medical symptom, which is sense of impending doom. If you don't believe me, look it up. Sense of impending doom is actually a genuine medical symptom that happens in a lot of uh, uh, of diseases and pathologies, and especially anemia. So, uh, so yeah, th that was the last time I was really scared. It was uh, uh, my girlfriend was at the time uh, in another city for her uh, studies uh, in the south of the country. So we only saw uh, each other uh, one week of every month. So it was uh, at the time when I was alone and the diarrhea gave me hallucinations and sense of impending doom and I was seeing like weird shadows moving in the corner of my eyes and uh, shit like that and so uh, yeah, that, <laughs> that was the last time when I, when I felt genuine fear or anxiety is because of uh, our spring mayhem that gave me anemia, that gave me hallucinations and shit. That's, uh, that's kind of a funny story I think. And uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not a person in general who, who is really fearful of afraid of things. But I was one time when I really, really felt uh, that, and that was really stressful. And uh, yeah, I barely slept at the time because of that, and it made the thing even worse. And yeah, <laughs> I think it's a funny story. It all started with diarrhea. Different day, different shirt, different rat different angle same stupid video I cannot believe it has been almost a month and a half since I made the first FAQ slash AMA but well as I said last time which is the same time because the same video uh, time flies it really fucking does and uh, I'm gonna finish this right now um, Next question is favorite 1980s synthesizer. Now this is kind of a difficult one because I'm not really into the 80s. I'm much more of a 70s kind of guy. Uh, but my favorite 1980s uh, synthesizer would be the emulator. Uh, if you don't know about the emulator, it's a really great synthesizer in my opinion, really underrated. It was made by the same dudes who made the Prophet 5, which is much more famous. Um, but yeah, it, it has some really great sounds and really great stuff. I, I, I check it out. The emulator, yeah, there there has been a bunch made. I think the emulator two is the best, uh, the best one. Anyway, how many rocks are in your house right now? That's a good question. I can I can tell quite easily actually because there are there are five rocks in my rat's cage. There are four uh, that. Are there to uh, help stabilize the, um, their pet rug, which is called a dry bed, and uh, there are one who is just there for um, aesthetics. And uh, I've got two spare rocks, light rocks, and I've got three here for decoration. And I think I got a bunch more actually, but smaller rocks. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think when they're smaller, you, you don't call them rocks, you call them stones. Um, so that would be 2 plus 2, 5 plus 10. 10 rocks. Do you like lasagna? Lasagna! Meat pies or sausage rolls? Hmm, meat pies. Yeah, definitely meat pies. I think we are um, running out of good questions. I guess uh, between fighting a thousand rabbits or one polar bear, which one do you choose and why? I think I would choose the polar bear because it would sound much more badass if I defeat him. Uh, fighting a thousand rabbits just gotta be uh, awkward and uh, annoying and really aggravating. Can you rip a fat vape? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of conflicted about vaping. 
this. I, I kind of like it, like, ironically. But I, I, I don't think I, I would commit to the joke that much to actually do it in real life. Next question is, have you been to the archive yet? Now, it's funny, because uh, I'm re, re, replaying Dark Souls for the fourth time, and right now I'm at the Duke's archives. So, um... Uh, Kind of funny, and uh, yeah, of course I have been. I love archives in general. The word archives is, is, sounds kind of cool to me. Um, why is Crack such a profitable enterprise? Because it's cheap to make and people will pay anything for it. Um, what's a rat? It's kind of like a, um, I would say like a trash puppy. I'd say it's uh, yeah, it's basically trash puppy. I think it's a, I think it's a good uh, way to put it. Trash puppy. Do you like that? Do you like being a trash puppy? Yeah, I think he's okay with that. And yeah, that was the last question for today's AFAQ slash AMA. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's stop here. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty good format. Uh, what can I say? See ya. Peace.